if you're right footed or left footed. If you're right then you will have your right pedal facing towards you and your left foot on the ground. You will now hold on to like a wall or a pole or something near you. Then you hop up, try find your balance. Once you're ready, you're going to do a few pedals and then fall forward. And then you're going to go back and then do it again. and then fall off at the front and then once you've done that for like a couple of months or so then you're gonna by then you would have learned a lot more and you could ride a lot further because you found your balance from practicing so by then you want to be able to unicycle all the way around and if you find you need to fall forward just keep on pedaling until you fall and you should end up falling off but still walking but hold on to the back seat so it doesn't damage the front of your unicycle fantastic you got another tip as well didn't you from nigel at concrete circus when you were going too fast what did he tell you to do lean back no he well he told you to look up didn't he and slow down so not going that was the other mistake you used to make was going too fast yeah. so, so when you go too fast you want to like slow your feet down and lean back a bit because when you go fast you find that you're leaning forward a bit too much so lean back so you say oh well, i'm going too fast lean back and slow down and if you find you need to fall back and stop and hop off but hold on to the front so it doesn't fall back and damage the back of your unicycle or damage daddy's floor <laughs> Fantastic. Any more tips? Um, well, on um, side to side, when you're when you're find when you're trying to find your balance, so you've hopped up and you're wobbling a bit. Well, put your arms out and it'll put like even weight on each side, so it'll make it a bit easier to balance. And any tips once you've got going to do the free mount? Because that was a new one. You started off oh, holding yeah. on to somebody, didn't you? But then yeah. you worked up to the free mount. Yeah, so you stop off, put your hands to the side. And where's the pedal? Middle-ish? Well, the pedal, well, if you're right footed, you want um, your right foot facing towards you. And you want this, like, just below, halfway. So you can hop up and push down on that pedal. So yeah, you want it evenly, not, but you don't want your foot too much facing towards here because once you pedal round, it will trip up your foot and you'll fall off forward. So you want it like a bit more out with a bit of space on the pedal and then you're going to hop up and pedal. And mummy, don't you, to put the knee in front and a hand. And then you get up. For first starting, you need a bit of support getting up. And then don't stand still. You need to keep your feet wobbling from side to side. Keep it moving a bit. So you're not just standing still and then falling off. So, yeah, but the, the bumps in the ground, they'll keep you in one place to help. And when you get up, you can start finding your spot and then get up. And then from there, it's not like reality. You need to walk backwards to go forward and forward to go back. So walking backwards, going forward, walking forward, going backwards. Same with side to side. Right is left, left is right. From there, once you've found your balance, you can slowly make your way turning around. And then when you feel like you need to go, jump off. But keep your knees bent so you have a bit of suspension when you land. So you're not ending up like smashing your knees against your legs. So 
Yeah, that's pretty much all you need to know about the walking globe. Moving on to the roller bowler. No, you don't know how to do that one yet. I do. This is one we're just learning, isn't it? You can have a quick yeah. show of the one we're just learning. What have you learned from only just learning? So, if you have like a mirror in front of you, 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 you can learn to find where your balance is. That's what I found helps me. And you just want to kind of know, keep it in the middle but wobbling a bit. Right. So, yeah, like try to keep the the round bit in the middle but moving side to side so it's not just going to drop down on one side. <laughs> I think we need a bit more practice on that one, don't we? Yeah. Um, no, we'll okay. do those another time. Thank you for watching my tutorial and I hope you get good at circus equipment soon.